Welcome to another edition of Break It To Make It. Our competitors will be given a random object to bust into a hard to break thing. With cash on the line, who will come out on top? We're about to find out. Welcome to America's Got Balls, where we find out who has the biggest balls. All right, everyone, I'm super excited. This is our first episode of Bake It To Make It, where I make exciting cakes. Welcome to Break It or Make It. It's Daily, back for your daily dose of busting things. Let's go. Don't break my table, Daily. Let's break some balls. Eric the Ball Breaker. First up, we have the Make Your Own Bouncy Ball Kit. But can it be the Break Your Own Bouncy Ball Kit? Um, and it has super fun shapes. If you can see, it's really kind of nubbin-y. This looks like the gum that you pick off the bottom of the desks. A reminder to our viewers at home, don't eat that. How is it? It's fine. Contestants, it's time to choose your weapons. B12. Oh my god, it's B12! B12, that's my favorite vitamin. It's a straight up bowling pin. Number nine. Bubbles! Woohoo! Bubbles! <laughs> Bubbles! Number five. A tube of kid's toothpaste. Eleven. Bring me a pizza cutter. And ooh. This is the new thesaurus, so it features words like yeet and dab and Sloan is very cool, all one word. Jamie doesn't use it, but it's it's part of standard English. Look up unemployed. Let's put 60 seconds on the clock. Begin! Time for some whimsy. Bubbles! <laughs> Could I? Whoa. I need a home run. Is that bowling? Oh, Daly, maybe you should take over as sports commentator. It is doing absolutely nothing. I thought it was for a second. Indestructible. You put it in there, maybe? Just see if it dissolves it. Eric going with a Breaking Bad method. That was not, as they say in bowling, a touchdown. Daily airballs that bowling reference and it's on to the next round. Ooh, the giant dice stress ball. There's a big hair on it though, Sloan. And what's nice about this is, you know, for those Dungeons and Dragons polyhedral dice set owners out there, or whatever tabletop roleplay game of your choice. I'm sorry, what, Sloan? This is amazing because it's a dice you can mush into any shape, so like. Let's see what we're breaking it open with. Six. A baby's push toy. Whoa. Fun fact, this is Eric's daycare and Jamie's just watching him until his parents come back. Number one. Number one is a ping pong ball. Okay. So last time I played this game, um, one could note that there was mayhaps some riggery and I got derpy items. The trend is continuing. Oh, I am insulted at the accusation that this game is rigged. That is, thank you. How dare you, that is preposterous. Number eight. It's off season oversized decor. Can I just keep this? Three. It's a whole slice of tree trunk. Now begin. Christmas is coming early. Does this mean she belongs on the naughty list? <laughs> You just think you can trick me with this soft, supple oak. How's it audio? What? How are we doing on sound? Kids, look away. Uh, iron. Ah! That's where it's at. This guy, right? You get it? Ah! What a fun playtime. Get your soft wood out of here. Remind me to never cross Kyle, or let him near a forest. Why is it so sturdy? Guys, I don't like it. I don't like loud noises. I don't like, oh, I don't like it. Oh, oh. oh yes. And that's how Daly learned the true meaning of break miss. The end. On to the next round. Got it. Pre-solved Pyraminx. Because I solved it beforehand. Everybody was like, hey, I don't even know. We need a genius. Where's Kyle? I solved it in five seconds. Number two. Hoo, hoo, hoo. A corkscrew, but that ain't no cork. Four. A tank full of helium. Trust me, I checked. Yeah, I don't think there's much in there. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> Number one. Lay it on me. Scissors. Let's see what genius Kyle can do with these. Three. Give me number three. I either be a pyramid in the water, slay with this here harpoon. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Oh, wait a minute. All of those tools seem too tough. To make this task trickier, you can only use your non-dominant hand. Now break! Hey, 
It's so strong! It's the strongest shape! Oh, dude, this might actually work! This is gonna hurt me either way. Oh well. Ah! Y'all see that manly move right there? Ah. Oh boy, I sure hope you didn't break that tank. Brute force always wins. No, brute force, don't feel me. What do you think, Adam? You can just put it back together, so. According to section 7A3, a break is not reached if the piece can be sufficiently reattached or if the break didn't look that cool in the first place. You lose! <laughs> Bubbles! No, there's no oh, gravy, guys. I am. My, my harpoon doth struck true. I think we should call this a break. Nah, not good enough for me, Sloan. That pyramid remains largely intact. In round four, we're breaking the lunar light show lamp. Ooh. It looks like you can make it more or less bright. 16 different colors, gang. Look, there's even a little footprint, a little astronaut's footprint. Isn't that crazy that people are already living on the moon? The question is, which color do we want to break? Break them all, Eric, break them all. Number four, give me a rocket to the moon and then a pickaxe. Daily gets the next best thing, a sack of bird seed. Ah! Number two, it's probably something silly. Oh, jeez. This is illegal. This isn't one that I took. Hurry up and use it before we get fined. Number seven. Oh, stunt dummy. What the, huh? How do we feel about 10? A child's prized piggy bank. Ooh. I don't want to break this. This is cute. Then don't. Wouldn't you like that, Jamie? So I donate all of my money, every single penny I get from the show, to the Sloan Curse Custard Fund, but. But nothing. Break. Okay. It's all in finesse anyway. You don't have to just beat everything up. <laughs> Sloan breaking the bank to break the bank. Kyle adding vandalism to his list of charges. I got a little crack. Yeah. Yeah. What's in the moon? Please be cheese. Please be cheese. Please be cheese. There's the light source. Whoa. Feast, my child, feast! I'm a wizard. One small step for daily, one giant leap for bird kind. And with that lunar reference, it's on to our big money round. But with big stakes come big challenges. Things are about to get harder here. This is from our mini crystal ball kit. It comes with a very cool little book that teaches you all about soothsaying and, and fortune reading. Crystal ball, do I think I'm going to uh, totally annihilate you and break you into like a million pieces? Sloan starts with a bad omen. No need for a dumb tool lottery, because the contestants get to wish for the good fortune of any tool they want. Do I see a belt sander in my future? Whoa, that thing really works. The spirit world has a well-stocked wood shop. Oh, crystal ball. May I have a powered Dremel? Hey, everybody, do I look cool? I want an entire cinder block. Ooh, Cinder, please! I hardly know her! Can I get Miles' leg? Look at this leg! That's a powerful, hairy, beautiful, exquisite leg. Let's start before this gets any more uncomfortable. Are you ready? Oh, I don't care. Oh, I went up your shorts. I got it. Don't worry, I got it. What's <laughs> it didn't get through it at all! Guys, it's not even. That's a break! If you see any stray spirits floating around, send them back to Bat 19. Okay, now my favorite cinder block is broken. This thing is at best scuffed. You broke my favorite table. There's no time. Come on! Come on. <laughs> no time! Oh, he ruined it. He ruined the whole thing. He cost me 
$25. Are you feeling good, Cristobal, that I didn't break you? Congratulations to all the players. Be sure to check out these cool products and more over at that19.com. We'll see you next time. We'll stabby stabby. That19.com.